It's time for the latest football news from Germany's domestic league, the Bundesliga. For that, we are joined by DW Sports correspondent Chris Harrington from our partner station Deutsche Welle in Berlin. Now, Chris, Bayern Munich's Thomas Müller has often been a talking point with his resurgence under Hansi Flick. Uh, well, DW interviewed the general manager of the German national team on the topic of Müller being recalled. What was some of the feedback from that interview? Well, it was basically a lot of smoke and no fire. Oliver Bierhoff, the general manager of the German national team, said the door is not completely shut, but he also touched on the, you know, the droves of young and upcoming talent Joachim Love, the head coach, has at his disposal. You know, but when you look at the numbers, Müller put up 26 assists, 14 goals. They just won the treble at Bayern Munich. So it's understandable that he is the hot topic of conversation right now. But Müller, 30 years old, he addressed it saying that there has been no interest from either side. Joachim Löw says the young guys are good. No I, no plans whatsoever for Thomas Müller being, you know, reintegrated in, into the national team. You know, so again, I think it's just the natural response considering the season Thomas Müller had, uh, and it's a fitting conversation, but too much speculation, not enough tangible, you know, reasoning to really push this conversation forward. You know, because I don't think Joachim Love will renege on his uh, decision. And he has a lot of young talent, and uh, they'll be tested in, in the next days. They have Spain and Switzerland. So uh, we have to wait and see. And, and the goal, obviously, is for Germany to win the European Championship once again. You know, but Thomas Müller is good. You know, two trebles, a World Cup. You know, I, I think they should uh, let him rest right now. Do you think that, in your opinion, that is perhaps uh, holding a potential World Cup great? I mean, he is a World Cup great. Let me not make any mistake about that. But do you think that perhaps he has one more run in his legs, in your opinion? Yeah, I think he can do it. I think it all comes down to how he takes care of his body. You know, he has teammates. You know, Byron, as a collective team, you've transformed their body during, you know, the uh, COVID-19 pause. And uh, I think Thomas Mueller, as long as he you know, doesn't suffer any major injury, I think he'll be an asset to uh, many clubs, specifically the national German team. You know, I, I think it was just unceremonious, you know, the, the departure that uh, Yogi Love, you know, had uh, in regards to Müller and the others. And, and I think that that just might have rubbed Müller the wrong way. It did a lot of other national team players. So it could be a personal thing as well, you know, and, and not just a, a question of his body, you know, uh, holding up. Now, staying with Bayern Munich, they've been picked as heavy favorites for next season's Champions League, rightfully so, having won the treble uh, so dominantly and been so dominant in attack as well. What are your thoughts considering the potential exodus of players uh, is being expected? Yeah, I think it'll hurt Bayern. You, when you look at the, the, the list of names, you have Thiago, master class in the midfield. He's set to leave. You know, uh, Brass at Bayern Munich are expecting conversations to uh, start very shortly in the next few days. He's been linked to Liverpool. David Alaba is another player, you know, that has been remarkable uh, for Bayern Munich. He's been linked to Manchester United and Chelsea. Müller, we've been talking about him. Before his resurgence, he was even linked to a possible, a possible departure. You know, I think a lot of, of the... Older uh, players at Bayern Munich might be trying to cash in on their success right now, individually, specifically, you know that. Uh, some of the players older that haven't been featuring as much, Javi Martinez, you know, is an older player. I, I think he's just unhappy with things. He's set to leave. And the players they didn't cash in on, Perisic and Coutinho, you know, the loan deals uh, weren't purchased. So they're going to leave as well. You know, But in Bayern, they have their depth, you know, in their favor. But when you talk about repeating the Champions League, it's all about matchups. You know, it's all about the health uh, of their their staff. You know, uh, their offensive threats get hurt. You know, that changes everything. You know, I think it's funny that the odds are out, you know, so soon, so early. We have to wait and see. There's so much season, you know, to take place. If you, if you polled what would happen, who would win the Champions League back last November when Bayern were, you know, going through their trials and tribulations, no one would have picked them. You know, so, you know, I, I think you have to really look at that, you know, but it does make sense that uh, Byron, you know, among other teams, you know, uh, Manchester uh, City were uh, among the teams too, you know, picked. But, you know, come on, let's just keep it real. We, we have to wait and see. And I mean, of course, Bayern Munich wouldn't have any problem attracting talent if they were forced, forced to replace anyone. Um, now, Chris, with the season set to start, 
in less than three weeks. The fans got bitter news due to the coronavirus. Their weight has been pushed back. What's the latest word on that? Well, due to a recent spike of coronaviruses here in Germany, large sporting events, uh, the ban has been prolonged until the end of October. You know, uh, the German football leagues, we, we all know, completed uh, this past season first uh, among the major leagues. You know, uh, and the league itself is working with the governing body, the DFB, to try to propose the, the right hygiene concept in moving forward. But with this ban in place, and when you factor in the domestic attraction the Bundesliga is in Germany, I think it could be a problem. Uh, when you look at what's happening right now around the country, police have been having to break up anti-coronavirus protests in the country. And, and, and with the large following of fan support the German Football League has, that could be problematic as well. You know, I, I do hope people put safety before anything else. And I hope the league and the conditions of the coronavirus relax a bit to allow some normalcy to return. But right now, they'll have to wait a little bit longer. And I know that is uh, obviously... Uh, keeping the football fans in Germany hot and bothered at the moment. I can only imagine, especially with some leagues around the world and some competitions, um, having said that they'll start trying to reintegrate fans in small numbers and now suddenly the entire league is pushed back. But as always, Chris, what else has hit your radar uh, during the last week? Well, two things. We, uh, a big transfer news, a historic transfer, formerly of the Schalke American Weston McKinney has joined Juventus on a one-year deal that might prove uh, fruitful for him if he uh, earns respect among the talent they have in their roster, namely, namely uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, and other very seasoned players. McKinney's only 22 years old. He signed a deal on his birthday, uh, and he said he'll give all or nothing to Serie A. He grew up, you know, watching him. He is, I would say, uh, more defensively enhanced than offensive. You know, that's kind of his style of play, very versatile. I'm happy for him in that move. Let's see if that young talent makes the best of it in, in Italy. And also, uh, just an example of African excellence, Alfonso Davies has been making Ghanaians very proud uh, because he was born in a Ghanaian refugee camp, winning the treble. You know, a very young and upcoming talent in Bayern Munich. His, his parents uh, fled Libya uh, after, uh, you know, the conflict there, which resulted in him being born. And that's good to see, in my opinion, because he represents Canada on, on the national pitch, international pitch, I should say. You know, so I, I think it just says that there is a common denominator and it's good to see that it's being appreciated. Definitely. Uh, lastly, before I let you go, is, is there like some finality to the whole Kai Havertz situation with his transfer bid? Can we expect to see him in a Chelsea shirt this week? Yeah, he hasn't been showing up, you know, to uh, trainings in Leverkusen. So I think the deal, you know, is days away, moments away, you know. So and, and the writing was on the wall. Obviously, when a player is not showing up to certain things, requirements with the club, it, it, you know, it, his actions speak volumes in, in that sense. And this has been something that's been ongoing for a while, you know, and I think that uh, Chelsea's ready to pull the trigger and Leverkusen's ready to listen. Well, thank you very much for the Bundesliga update. DW Sports correspondent Chris Harrington from our partner station DW in Berlin. Thank you very much. Pleasure's mine.